So you just take a cotter pin, <clears throat> then take a round file for like a chainsaw blade, a chainsaw sharpening tool. Or you could even use a drill bit, a smaller drill bit, and just you know get that guy nice and thin. Hold on, see if I can focus on it. Sit down. There we go. Yeah, just file it down. Get it nice and thin. Stick it in a soldering iron. Let that sucker heat up. And then you can see the tire. So we're going to focus on this guy right here. Boom. So, I made it pretty thin and it broke on me, so I've got another one making it here. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. Yeah, just doing that over and over to get it nice and sharp. Um, the other one broke on me. Uh, you have to get it pretty thin to get it pretty sharp. So I also thought that it might be a good idea to sharpen the flat head on a nail. You know, to sharpen the edge of it there. I haven't done it yet, but you had to sharpen that edge, stick this down in the soldering iron, and then just drag that guy along. But haven't sharpened it yet. I'll use this stone, get it going. So we'll see. So the nail didn't really work. Uh, it cut it, but not well. Definitely use the cotter pin uh, to sharpen it like I showed you. And then get to work. Took a little bit of time to get it done, but hey, it works better than spending $100 on a freaking tire grouper. You're welcome. <laughs>